<laughs> Hi everybody, Christopher with the Triangle Haunters here again, uh, welcoming you to my workshop, also known as my garage. And I have so many prop building materials in here, there's no longer any room for my car. Um, also wanted to take an opportunity uh, just to make a real quick video to show you a, another prop that I have just put the finishing touches on that we're going to be using in our hunt this year. Um, came out real well. It, it really um, turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And, um, you know, just want to take a moment to, to kind of show it off and show everybody out there. So without any further ado, here it is. All right, I know what you're saying. You've shown us this prop before. You've got the video out there that says, shows, you know, the, uh, the progression of the book and, and how it was, was put together and everything. But as you notice right now, the eyes aren't on. And uh, basically, if I just wave my hand over the book like this, ta-da, the eyes light up. All right, so it's not really magic. It's actually a remote switch. Um, if you remember in my other video, I made a comment that I wanted to make the book a little more interactive for the trick-or-treaters when they come up to the house. You know, now we can say, you know, the book can sense the presence of other witches and wizards. Wave your hand over the book and see if it responds. And, you know, all we have to do now is just press this button and when the kids come up and they wave their hand over the book or whatever, we can turn it off or, or turn it on. Um, but I did have to make a few minor modifications to the inside of the book um, when I added the remote transmitter and receiver. Um, here, let me show you what I've done inside the book uh, and explain it a little bit better. All right, so basically here's the book itself. Um, skull, LED eyes, the remote trigger. And on the inside, it looks a little different than from before. Now, as before, this is the, the fading LED circuit, but this right here is the remote trigger. Uh, if anybody else, you know, that's, that's easily recognizable. But this is the modification that I had to make. This right here is a 12-volt power supply. Basically, it's just for uh, eight AA batteries. Um, each battery is a 1.5 volt times 8, gives you 12 volts. The reason I had to do that is this little trigger operates off of 12 volts and what it does is it runs power from in in the switch to the fading LED circuit well before the fading LED circuit was only rated for 9 volts I was using a 9 volt battery with it before which means that the LEDs needed some new resistors so I added a couple more resistors to the um, positive ends of the LEDs so that the voltage going into the the LEDs in the front of the book were dropped enough so that it could handle um, you know handle a 12 volt power supply going to it so that's the that's a couple of the modifications that I had to make and as you can see it's a lot more a lot more stuff and then this right here is just a hot glue line just to kind of help keep the the power supply kind of wedged in there um, so that if I take the book and I lean it up on a stand like this the power supply won't fall out. Um, so that's all that is, but you can I can still reach in and, and take out the power supply and replace the batteries as needed. And what's real neat about this is that the power supply has a 9 volt battery connection and then of course you get these uh, these little power connections here from Radio Shack and then it's just plugged right in here to the to the remote trigger. So that's pretty much the inside of the book. So as you can see, with the minor modifications, you know, different adjustments and everything, the book still turned out real well. Um, you know, uh, I, I can honestly say I don't think there's going to be any more that I'm going to do to the book. Um, I did have one person mention, you know, he doesn't really have any teeth. I might add those later on down the road, but for the most part, the book is done. Um, I've got everything added into it that I want to do, so. Um, I do want to send a thank you, big thank you out to uh, a haunter out there, another fellow haunter. He wishes to remain anonymous, but uh, in, when I made the, the last video uh, and I made the comment about the remote trigger, uh, he actually sent me one. He actually offered to send me one. He had a bunch of them 
that he wasn't going to use and if I wanted to, to get one to, to kind of try it out. Uh, he was more than welcome to send me one, so he did send it to me. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Uh, as you can see, it worked out really, really well. I'm very pleased with this. Um, so uh, that's it for this prop, hopefully. Um, you might see it featured in a, a future vlog that Ann and I do together just to kind of show it off if I make any changes or whatnot. Uh, that actually reminds me, um, Ann and I are putting the final touches on another vlog that we're going to do together just to kind of show some pro progression on some other props that we've been working on and maybe a few other, you know, garage sale, you know, thrift store finds that we've done to, to kind of, uh, you know, build up our display for this year. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, you know, if you have any questions on the remote trigger or, you know, the fading LED circuit, uh, that reminds me on that as well. Um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to have a video done um, basically showing how to build a fading LED circuit. I've actually had a lot of uh, requests, questions on it, you know, copies of schematics and notes. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube right now that show how to build something like that. Um, but it doesn't show everything, um, especially with, with, with what I learned. Um, you know, I had to make a few subtle tweaks to it here and there and so I might make put together a kind of a how-to video on, on how to build a, a fading LED circuit which you know hopefully I'll have up in a couple of weeks um, but uh, if you have any questions you know please feel free to leave me a comment message me um, you know I'm, I'm in you know the, the, the Haunters Hangout and and all other different type of, of uh, Haunter groups on Facebook um, you know on on all the different forums and stuff like that so please feel free and, and, and you know ask me any questions but uh, once again I want to thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, we'll see you on another video till then have a good one <laughs>